Okay, so we have um, the terrible decade, confusion, Trump, the Queen, the Ice Age, disaster, World War Three, hope, and unitivism. So, um, all this, what I'm telling you, has to do with something that I wrote in 1998 about um, predictions of the future that would come this way. Um, it was a, a homework assignment in my class, and, you know, anytime I'm given an assignment, I always try to find the best answer with the best resources. So, um, so everything that I'm telling you is based off of memory, off of something that I wrote that somebody else wrote. Um, <laughs> uh, but, um... Um, so, the one thing we're waiting on is, um, something's gonna happen in England. Either the Queen's gonna die or she's gonna give up power. That is supposed to happen soon. I was thinking that was gonna happen this year, and while this year still isn't over with, um, I was still thinking that was gonna happen, because what happens afterwards is the more important thing and that it seems like whoever gets the crown is going to relinquish the crown in other words there will be no more royal line and it's an important step in creating this new world next um now i did say when i started doing these that and if I didn't say it to you, I know I said it to somebody else, but I've said it before. What Trump's going through is going to be a death scare. Um, he um, um, is... I don't know whether he comes close to it, but the one thing about this time period, about the... the 2016 between 2025 is it's so confusing. It even confused the person who was writing about it. Um, he said it was a very, very confusing period. And at one point he thought he died, but then he, he said that he didn't die. He, he, um, um, and I believe he, um, you know, ended up pulling through and finishing the next four years. But it, and then, at some parts, he talked about the vice president doing things. And so, I'm real unfor sure if Trump dies or if he lives. I think he lives. Um, either way, Pence will turn out to do good. Um, but I think he lives. I believe he lives. Trump. In that. And so far it looks that way, so let's just hope everything's going that direction. Um, um, and another thing, you know, I, I talked about the way how this person described these three presidents that um, he uh, described three presidents that had about um, each were elected for two terms and they were he called him, I believe, Bush was the idiot, Obama was the foreigner, and um, Trump was the most hated. Uh, when that was happening, I kind of thought Hillary Clinton was the most hated, so I thought she was going to win the election. Um, but it turned out to be Trump. Um, and then, um, what is it? Um, and then, you know, he, Trump did say that, um, in the debate that, uh, um, that they have the people caught on tape, and I believe those people will go down. Um, I really do. This is also going to be a eye-opening moment for Americans. Yeah, um, this conflict is made to um, transform us, and I'm hoping that it goes in a positive direction instead of a negative direction. Even though it seems like it's heading in the negative direction, 
let's remain hopeful that it's going to turn positive. Um, either way, um, I do believe in police reform, and police reform does need to get done. Actually, really, our whole justice system needs a, re, um, a redone. And I think the direction we're going to go is one of unitivism. I don't think it's going to get solved immediately. This is probably going to take some time because it's a different system. And it requires a lot of people to take their ego away. And that's one of the things we're kind of learning at the moment is how to take our ego away from things. And, and conflict and transforming through conflict is one of the ways that that happens. Um, it's, um, but like the punitive system that we have set up, an eye for an eye does make the world blind. Um, so there might be better ways, um, there actually are better ways, um, that we've been dealing with, um, or that there are better ways in a punitive system to deal with punishment. Let's just put it that way. Um, so, um, so I do believe that will, that's starting to take shape. And the other thing, like these next five years is going to be probably utter chaos for a lot of people. Um, but just know, just keep in mind, things are heading in a better direction. Um, so, most of us think, you know, global warming has been happening and yada, 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 yada. Well, that turns out to be wrong. It's not really global warming that's going on. It is an ice age um, that is coming into play. And we're going to start to see a lot of volcanoes, possibly earthquakes, and hurricanes, tornadoes to start wrecking havoc. Um, it's not going to be anything good, and it's going to cause a famine. Um, and I hope that, um, everybody, you know, a lot of people will survive, but it's not going to be a fun time and food prices might rise. And I'm talking like a loaf of bread being like five bucks type of a rise. Um, so keep that in mind. Um, if you start seeing that stuff happen, as in lots of volcanoes, lots of earthquakes, weird freaking weather like it snowed in Australia last week, or the week before last, um, then I would kind of prepare a little bit of food, maybe like, um, dehydrated food, um, something that lasts a long time because you don't know when you might need it. I'm not saying you got to get a crap load of this stuff, but uh, as in to where things are kind of missing because of the virus and because of the panic that people did, um, the same thing might kind of happen now. And next year we are going to begin this famine. And you might be able to see it a little bit, um, but the famine is coming. And... Next year is going to be good, but 2022 is probably going to be one of the worst years besides 2023 and 2024. 2022 is where you're going to really start to see it hardcore. Um, that's why I've suggested that we need to invest in better agricultural methods like um, uh, vertical agriculture or um, get our 3D printing system up to where we can print food. Because um, if we can print a heart, we should be able to print some corn or something, or a pizza, or I don't know, whatever. Um, so uh, we 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 do need to to start using technology in that direction. So the next one is around 2025. Oh, um, I believe before 2025, the UN is going to go away. Just a little bit before. 
because that's when World War III will happen. The next president will be somebody everybody likes. I think it's going to be a tough battle to get there, but that person, whoever it is, will unite the country, will bring us through good leadership, will take us through World War III, and it's not going to be easy. Uh, this decade is not going to be easy, um, and it won't get resolved. The whole war will go on till about 2028 to 2030. Um, you, you start to see major changes in 2028. And um, it's going to be a doozy. It's not going to be fun. It's going to be more chaos. But after that, we see a brand new world. A better world may not be perfect yet, but it is a better world. So, hold on to hope. What Pandora left in the box. So, um, that's kind of the, the way how I see things progressing right now. And there's going to be um, save money if you can. You know, you don't have to hoard money, but you know have enough plan for at least maybe, what, six months just in case? Um, probably cash just in case too, or half of it in cash. Um, but just hang in there, tough it through, things will improve, consciousness is transforming us. But when we think about things, Let's more like go on the love and positive side instead of the hate and burn the cities down and make everybody cry side. <sighs> we need to get rid of this hatred. Because uh, it does us no good. Ain't that right, Pops? Yeah. Anyways, you guys have a good one. Have fun. Peace and bye.